What's going on, guys? This is Farmout C Casual Gamer. Welcome to Toy Story 3. Playing it on the PS3. The PS3 version includes the ability to play as Zerg and has a mini game that you can play. It's like a shooter that you can play with the PlayStation Move. Anyways, right now I'm in the open toy box where you can, like, mess about, get collectibles, um, pick up, like, little mini side quests here and there. This is different from the main campaign. Um, there's a ton of stuff that you can actually do in this game. Uh, it's I was surprised at how much content they give you in a game that's based off a movie. And I just recently watched the Toy Story trilogy and decided, hey, maybe I should check this game out. For 15 bucks, I thought, what the hey. So we're going to go over here and pick up a quest. Being the only bank in town puts me at terrible risk. Maybe you should build an official bank where everybody's money will be safe from those sinister outlaws. Sometimes the quest can be something as simple as like a fetch quest, or in this case it's just as simple as purchasing a bank from Al's Toy Barn over here. You can actually buy, there's a ton of stuff that you can buy for your toy box, like a ton of stuff. But a lot of the stuff is all locked up there. And you see in the top right there, that's how much money I have, and it shows you how much uh, everything costs. So. There's a lot of stuff to unlock, and there's a lot of stuff that you can, like, purchase, which I guess, in a way, is sort of like unlocking it. So let's build a bank, because that's what we're supposed to do. And this is very, like, primitive stuff right now, because we're up to the very, very, very beginning, pretty much. So that looks like a good spot for the bank. We're going to put it there. And they start construction on the bank. And it's just a big open area. There's no set rules of, like, what you're supposed to do, or what you should be doing, or shouldn't be doing uh, at this point. So, you see in the top right there, Woody has, he throws bouncy balls as his main weapon, whereas Buzz Lightyear has like a laser, but uh, <laughs> what weapon were they going to get? Well, I guess like, they could have given him like a whip or a lasso or something. But you see, you just run around collecting money, and uh, we're just in the western part. Oops, let's get another collectible. This is the western part of the Toy Story. Toy Story, Toy Box. <laughs> All over the place. Oh, we ain't found a bandit. You see these guys, you pick them up and you take them to prison. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, show a different part of the game. Here we go. This is the Buzz Lightyear, the video game, which is like a video game within a video game. So when you go to the toy box, you select the Buzz Lightyear video game and this is pretty much what you get not just this this is it's actually a quite lengthy game this is just the opening part where you're kind of flying through blowing up uh, asteroids or whatever they are meteors or something like that and this game is for kids but there's a lot of parts um, that I would say wouldn't be easy for kids to do and while it is Toy Story and it is probably aimed more towards children I mean it, you can find value in this game as an adult as well. It's, it's fun. And there's just a ton of content in it as well. Help pick up. And, uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, the voices, though, the only two actors that are mainly missing are Tim Allen and Tom Hanks, which were, of course, Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Uh, Jim Hanks actually does Woody's voice, which is Tom Hanks' brother. Ouch! L look at this part. Would you expect a four-year-old to be able to pull this part off? <laughs> okay, we're in Andy's room. And this is... Sort of... I don't know if it's part of the campaign or what it is, but at this point you, you're you switching between multiple characters. Kind of like the Lego games, where you have to switch between the characters. You know, certain characters can do certain things. So... I'm coming over to Buzz right now. Buzz can actually throw people really, really far. And I'm going to use Buzz to throw her, Jessie, up onto the dresser here. And then Jessie has this ability she can jump on these certain... Anything that's, like, flashing, she can jump on. No, so the whole part of this is just... Well, I'm just trying to get to Andy's cell phone. Which is right here, if I can manage to pick it up. There we go. Here comes a cutscene. Great, we got the cell phone. Now we just need to call it from the home phone. Rex is still MIA. And hasn't brought back the cordless phone. We better see what's keeping him. Come on. <laughs> so as you can hear, the voices are 
The voice of Buzz isn't too bad, but the Jim Hanks' voice is just not quite on um, Tom Hanks' voice. In fact, I thought he did a better job in uh, Polar Express because he does the voice in that game as well. In fact, all of the Toy Stories, Jim Hanks does Woody's voice, which I thought was interesting because I decided to look it up like, who is this voice acting? Like, holy crap, it's Tom Hanks' brother! So, any pretty much any video game that would require Tom Hanks' voice, it's done by Jim Hanks. Well, at least he's getting work, I guess. <laughs> But at this point, we're launch. We're trying to find the army men, and then we're throwing them down to the phone. And again, this is all the very, very beginning of the game. I mean, there's a ton more, uh, but I'm just showing you the beginning right now. It's actually it's pretty good. I mean, it's uh, it's no hardcore game or anything like that, but it's definitely good. It's 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 a game that would be good to play with kids, but also a good game to play with your girlfriend or wife, it's uh, they'll sit there and watch because I mean, who doesn't like Toy Story? What female doesn't like Toy Story? Not trying to sound sexist. I mean, I like Toy Story. I'm not saying I'm female. Damn it! I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, let's launch this last dude and end the video because it's just all over the place. And I'm, I've only shown you a fraction of what the game has to offer, and um, it's only I think you find it new for twenty bucks. I found it used for fifteen, and. Uh, I definitely found my 15 bucks worth. Anyways, for Farmhouse the Casual Gamer, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on YouTube. Cheers.